Musical trends. Certainly this man ought to know where music is going in the next uh, few months or so. Paul, uh, as far as Paul Revere and the Raiders are concerned, are you going to change your style? Oh, I think it continually changes, uh, you know. Each, from session to session, uh, recording session to recording session, I think we, uh, we bump into newer things and more things. And uh, who, who determines the sound of Paul Revere and the Raiders? Well, it's a combination of, uh, of the group and our uh, record uh, producer, which is Terry Melcher, and he's a very sharp guy. He really got an ear. Do you pay any attention at all to the reaction of the people who come to see you? Oh, definitely, yeah. We uh, always watch... Uh, what what type of uh, song we we particularly can can get across better than another type song, and that's the way we try to uh, channel our recording. Do you think your audience is more influential on your music, or do you do what you and the guys like the best? In other words, uh, do they determine it, or do you? Uh, I think it's a combination of, of of everything. What's going to be in the new album? Many new uh, sounds and and things. It's like uh, one of the other guys in the band said, it's. Uh, doing a lot of experimenting. All the groups are now. But uh, with the uh, record company we're with, uh, we've we, we got a lot of leeway because uh, time means nothing. When we go into the studio, we got all the time in the world, and this is, this is what gives you so you can create and you can work on a sound. I don't know whether you're aware of it or not, but Paul Revere, they tell me, is a master barber, or was at one time. Is that true? That's a fact. When did you practice that career? Oh, way back. Uh, let's see, I was about uh, 16 when I went to barber college. Well, you know, everybody is predicting the demise of the long-haired guys in the world. Is this going to happen? Uh, yeah, it's more of a trend. Uh, it's coming in more and more and more and more. It, it started years ago, but uh, more people are getting less haircuts. That's one reason I quit barbering. <laughs> Do you really think, though, that the long-haired scene is here to stay, or will it disappear in the year 1966-67? Uh, the extreme long hair, I think, will, will taper off, but it'll still leave its mark on the world. And uh, I think uh, uh, boys, uh, for a long time to come, will, will keep their hair longer than... than used to be like uh, eight years ago or so, flat tops and crew cuts were, were the thing. Paul, what, what's the hair that, in your estimation, looks the most attractive on today's young gal? On the girls? Yeah. I think the natural, straight, long, long hair is uh, out of sight. Thank you, Paul, very much. Now, keep your eye on these fellas coming up. I see a lot of them on Friday.